I got interested in Buddhism actually before I knew I was interested in Buddhism because uh, my mother died when I was 18. It was like the start of my spiritual awakening because I was like, what happens when you die? And there wasn't any answers. When I was in college, I had this dream of this thing spinning above my head and I didn't know what it was and I drew it and I tried to incorporate it into my artwork and I was asking everybody what's this symbol what's this symbol and all and then the first time I came to Kadampa temple I saw it was the inside of the dharma wheel those three jewels that are spinning around inside the dharma wheel and that was in my dream just I like, kind of came together and of course with Buddha's teachings tell us everything about death I just knew it was the right place the first time I came to the temple was, I think, around 2000. And I came here and the whole temple was not here. It was just like this flat ground. There wasn't any foundation poured or anything. They had just cut down the trees and flattened it. And I just stood. I stood pretty much right where I'm sitting right now. And I thought, this is going to be the middle of the temple one day. And I really just felt so connected here. And I just kept coming back, like working visits. And then the next time I came, I think there was like the steel framework and they had Buddha in like this plywood box with like a window. And I think a bunch of us did like 35 confession Buddhas like on the concrete. And then just kept coming back here because I feel a strong connection with this temple. It was interesting because I always would say, I don't like to teach. For like 20 years, I would try to like to teach and I didn't like teaching. But I realized like <laughs> something just changed when I went to Bloomington and then I started to like it. And, I, and it was, I think, because my practice was stronger and I got more confident. What I really like about here is this like team effort of everything and you know you just feel like you're part of a community and you're you're um, helping things out but I really probably miss like being in the temple, walking around, circumambulating the temple, driving the backhoe. I don't know I just feel like ready for the next thing. I don't feel so attached like it used to be when I lived in Albuquerque I'd just like think about what was happening here and I'd want to be here and I'd think about it all the time like how am I going to get to KMC New York and I want to live there and now I feel like well I've been here for a long time and um, you know it feels kind of like when you're you're a kid and you're ready to leave home and you're like 18 or something and you're like now is the time I can't live at my parents house forever um, it's time to go <laughs> time to grow up Hey friends, this is Gen Chenma, and I'm really looking forward to come to Long Island and be the teacher there and to get to know you all, and I'll see you soon.